happened. What was your experience? Uh, what has what have your experiences been as a trans person in the workplace? Um, well, my first experience being trans in the workplace was coming out in the workplace, which, as I say, I was pretty terrified to do. It was the last place I came out because I was like, well, if it all goes wrong, that's my career out the window. But um, yeah, I contacted HR and she was quite surprised. She didn't really know what to do because apparently I was the first person in the organisation to uh, try and come out as trans. So that's that's nice. Um, but there wasn't anything in place. And to her credit, she went away and did some research and was actually very helpful. Um, but then I contacted my line manager and she was very surprised and didn't know what to do. Um, and again, there wasn't anything in place. So a lot of the, the stuff fell on, on me um, to figure out what to do. Um, and I did a really poor job of communicating what a big deal this was to me. So um, we made a plan to announce it as a team meeting and it didn't get announced at that meeting. And, you know, I was very upset about that. My poor manager, I phoned her in floods of tears and she was very nice and we sorted it all out. But um, in the end, we sent around an email to um, to all my colleagues and um, actually it, it went pretty well. I've got to be honest, um, we were just coming back from lockdown. So I hadn't met any of my team yet because I'd switched teams and um, they were very good at getting my team. I've got to be honest, you know, so obviously some people slipped up, but way less than I was expecting. Um, I haven't been quite so lucky with my pronouns. I've got to be honest, uh, it took people a long time and some people still aren't great at it. but. Um, most people, I can really see that they're trying and it does make, make a big difference to me. I think um, after coming out, uh, you know, that the, the, it was quite an upheaval, but it was kind of anticlimactic because everyone just treats me the same as they did before, which is good. It's what I wanted. Um, mm. But the one thing that I have gained, I suppose, is my involvement in the LGBTQ plus staff network um, as a um, Roger was alluding to um, all, all of those experiences with me coming out actually led us to put on the work plan um, to develop a set of guidance um, for trans and non-binary people in the workplace and, and their line managers so that we could facilitate those kinds of conversations and, and have people be able to have a better experience next time. You know, it wasn't terrible for me, but it could have been better. And um, um, we've written the guidance now. It's going through the last few steps of committees and whatnot. And watch this space because we are going to be launching it in a, a couple of months. 